Profiling Hubara Bustard, Introduction, Origin, and Destination of Migration. In the Arabic language, the word Hubara means things that disappear. So it is rightly attributed to Hubara Bustard for its intelligent, brisk and brave flying, fighting and fleeing force. The intelligent Hubara, somewhat loner, the lunar in nature, comes from the high and cold lands of far away in the northwest, Siberia, Turkmenistan, China, Mongolia, and other territorial demarcation of the Gobi Desert are home to these rare species. Only Hubara has the attitude to fly thousands of miles at an altitude hard to meet and sight, as the wave of extreme cold freezes Hubara's habitat and there's an acute dearth of foods of survival, migrating to less cold regions becomes inevitable for Hubara. She beats the falcons and eagles of the way by taking long, medium and short migration flights in the moonlit nights. The resultant relocation makes the less cold regions of Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran and bordering regions of Pakistan become host to the heroic Hubara in its struggle for survival and surrealism. In Pakistan, southern Punjab, adjacent deserts and semi-deserts of Sin, and the wide, wild, barren and virgin Balochistan are the favorite habitats of the high Hubara. Once in a moderate cold habitat of abundant food resources, the Hubara prefers not to take longer medium flights unless the plight of extreme cold travels their way. When to itself, the Hubara enjoys the pause of flights, light runs, and its signature lost in self-elegant gait. The Hubara Bustard is a medium-sized bird with a wingspan of up to 1.5 meters. The bird is white-bellied with upper parts pale, sandy buff, mottled and lined with darker brown. In flight, the long wings show large areas of black and brown on the flight feathers. Males are slightly larger than females, at mean 2.2 against 1.2 kilograms, with longer erectile filamentous neck plumes involved in the display. Brown from the top, grayish from underneath, and white around the neck and sides. The Hubara Bustard varies in weight from 900 grams to 2,500 grams. Hunters here broadly categorize the Hubara into three sizes. Smallest is called Hafana. Medium one is called Rabda whereas the big male is called Kharb. 
Hair of male hubara around the collars at times stands like scales. Very often, hubara likes to walk towards the sun and against the wind. The active and intelligent bird sits silent, motionless and soundless from a flying falcon in a complete camouflage and also secretly changes position to stay hidden. From 15th December onwards, Hubara starts forming couples and groups. After 15th March, they lay eggs in their permanent habitat. A female hubara, comparatively smaller in size, takes approximately two or two and a half months to lay eggs. Another interesting feature about this unique bird is that as one travels to the north, the size of Hubara is found bigger, whereas in south there are mixed sizes, mostly small, simply because those lighter in weight can manage to fly longer and higher and thus continue the search till it has found the perfect habitats of abundant food. The average flying speed of Hubara is approximated at 100 km per hour in long flights, while its height is invisible for a naked eye. From 7th and 8th of the moon to 21st and 22nd of the moon, Hubara flies at nights for better weather and greener food. That's the survival motive behind migration from and to their permanent habitats. The trends of Hubara's moonlight travel also reveal local migration. On a general scale, 10 to 20 centigrade temperature is ideal for Hubara. Having said that, it also has been recorded by experts that it does have a very strong resistance under cold weathers and circumstances but its intelligence and prudence makes it move before the situation gets to the worst. The Humara Bustard feeds alone or in small groups on beetles, ants, plants and even small lizards. Showing remarkable adaptation to its arid habitat, the Hubara Buster does not need to drink and instead receives all the water it requires from its food. It will walk kilometers while searching for food. Wild redberry, green leaves of mustard, leaves of balak, curry, dela, some green grass and insects like grasshoppers and all are Hubara's most common meals. However, diversified habitats have a difference in local food eaten and liked by Hobaras. It is certainly one of the most difficult and challenging catches, but once caught and well cooked, Hobaras meat is rated to be the purest of all known birds because it only eats the most natural of all foods. There are more than one, in fact more than 100 reasons for the passion for hunting Hobara. The hide and seek of Hobara, tracking from traces and spotting it, catching with falcon, flying flight of fury, the catch and release, release and catch, makes one disconnect with the rest of the never free world and brings up a heart full of happiness to the high hunters.
The intelligent and domineering bird that she is, there are some ever-changing and most common deceiving techniques with Hubara, and the better they come, the more fun it is. One of Hubara's life-saving weapons against a following falcon during a flying fight is its pressurized waist that it fires from the rectum to blind the enemy behind. At times, it also uses the same technique in an on-ground fight by jumping on top of the attacking falcon and making his feathers wet with her pressurized waist. Secondly, Hubara's body feathers are lightly detachable, which are left in the claws of the falcon during a head-on fight or struggle for survival. So, Hubara has her ways of managing escapes at critical times through survival tactics and at times through the strength of its size and wings. As much as it is important to know every minute detail about the Hubara, for each hunter, it is of utmost significance to know the falcons that prove to be better than the guns of the world in this regal art of high hunting.